I just got off work. I'm a nest at a bird sanctuary, and I wanted to go over the new NeoVim keybinds that were introduced in version 11. A lot of people know that in version 11 they introduced native LSP functionality, but not a lot of people know, I think including myself, that there are a bunch of new key maps defined in NeoVim 11 as well. A bunch from T Pope's unimpaired plugin are just now native to NeoVim, and we also have a bunch of native binds for common LSP functionality. So you can see the list right here. Um, I can link this in the description, but the big important ones, I think, are we have binds that are all defined G. It's, it's great to use G because everyone can usually remember uh, G bindings pretty well. But jokes aside, GRN for Go Rename, I usually think of G as Go. I don't know why. It's not, not the best, but yeah, so you can now rename things. So if I go to this neighbors variable, Jesus, I cannot type, and then G rn you can see now we can rename that it works just as it did before but there's a native mapping for it now same for references and implementation and also what's interesting now is we have this new go is document symbols which is cool because go in help pages usually like if i split and open i don't know the help for lsp oops uh, LSP. You can see how, the, I don't know why it opened like that, but you can see GO will show like a list of of all the kind of chapters, like an index almost, and then you can jump to it and help. So it's cool that that is now also a bind in just normal files for document symbols. So you can see if I do GO, it populates the location list with all these things. This doesn't seem all that useful to me just because the location list and the, the document symbols are like so dense, you know what I mean? So you can traverse this now with the unimpaired bindings, which are bracket and then uh, for a location list it would be L. So I can do like that and it just goes through all the, the different symbols in the location list. They're pretty densely populated, so not hugely useful, but like references to something. If I go to references of life, for instance, GRR, you can see it'll show me the two different places it appears, and then I can jump to the other thing. So that's kind of useful. And then since these are in the quick fix list, it would be bracket Q to go to the next, bracket Q to go back. And the quick fix list is something not a ton of people know about. It's one of those like more slightly more niche features of Vim. It's usually like locations of compiler bugs. It was originally like when you would compile something, when you use the make command, which can be configured to run different things for different file types. But originally just like for, for making C projects, it would just like take the output of the compiler and then give you a jump list to go to different places. But it's cool that it's being used and the location list is being used and we now have these um, more convenient ways to jump between them because previously you'd have to do like QF next or something like that and people would define their own maps but yeah they're just built in which is cool and also I guess like everyone considers these bracket motions unintrusive enough that they're just perma baked in um, which is a little interesting I think it's a good change this is really interesting to me we now have bracket and open and close bracket space to add things before and after the cursor in normal mode. So you can now do bracket space, bracket space, bracket space, bracket space. It won't show the ones under because I don't have auto scroll, but yeah. So that's kind of interesting. We also have code actions. Uh, I don't think tiny mist, which is the types to LSP supports code actions, but you know what those are. Those are just like I don't know, fix this, indent that, whatever, wrap in a match statement kind of thing. And yeah, overall, I think this is pretty cool that they have these new mappings. A lot of people, I think, will have just muscle memory for their own mappings or these ones kind of just down. For instance, for the longest time, I, I started using lunar vim before i made my own configuration and that has like l for the prefix for anything lsp right so you do like lf for format or la for code actions or yeah like lr for references so i was kind of used to that but i i like that these are just built in and you don't need to define anything and i think having g is not the worst you just have to kind of 
spend a little time practicing to remember these. And uh, yeah, I think overall some cool changes in here. I would uh, read this article and read the help page in general because this is kind of just a brief overview. But yeah, all those things are nice workflow improvements.